Okay, I got one reply. That means everybody is here. Um, Alright. This is... Everything's under control. Uh, you got this. Alright. <laughs> I believe that <laughs> since everybody is here, we can start. So, oh. let me do a simple introduction and welcome everybody to the second edition of Cherry's Fashion Show. Uh, my name is not important because the person you're hearing right now is Serasna's direct cut translator. And she wanted me to give you this quick disclaimer. <clears throat> the disclaimer. I am not held against my will. I am not a hostage. I am not held at the claw and fang point. I am being paid above minimum wage and I am happy to be here. So, with this disclaimer behind us, uh, no, no, not a hostage, I am just a translator, willing. So, with this said, I will start translating from now on, word by word, what Sarasna says, I mean meows, to me. Once again, I want to welcome everybody to the My Fashion Show. This event is about presenting your style and admiring the turtle fashion of others. I'm really glad to see so many people. People. I am quite confident that there's more people than uh, during my last edition, which is very pleasing to see. And without further ado, let's begin with taking our seats. I would like every spectator to take a seat on the benches behind us around the arena so if you're a spectator and you will not be uh, take participating in the fashion show by well showing off your style you want to just admire to see others then please take a seat on the bench anywhere just squeeze in if you need to, just so you can have a really cool look on those inside the arena that will be uh, presenting themselves. Um, and the participants, they can stand in front of me right here, outside the uh, circle, just to be within our view. So we know uh, who will be participating. We can uh, just see each other. Mm -hmm. Yes, please summon Amara's ult. Lavender's dying in the background. I like to see it. That's good. Uh, okay. Everything as it should be. Oh, I think we're strong. It's totally fine. All right. While people... It's just a hunter. They're not dead for real. Oh. Let's just heal the hunter anyways. All right. Okay. This is... Let me open up the next introduction that will happen soon with a joke. Please laugh. What's a cat's favorite color? Purple. <laughs> well done. We're very proud of you. <laughs> Slash clap. Thank you. Everybody who did not clap will get pod later. I will All right. already. It would impact your scores. <laughs> I would like to <laughs> I need to confirm one thing. <laughs> Somebody's giggling in the background. I love it. I hope it's just the joke, not me. <laughs> Let me introduce our 
judges because I will be hosting this event. I will not be the judge. There will be three judges just uh, for the third category and I mean for second category and uh, they will be responsible for just um, telling us, describing what they like about the outfit and interacting with the contestants. Uh, first judge, the judge from Traveler, well esteemed, respected and definitely not an orange cat. Pepperone. <laughs> Thank you very much for this. Pepperone, if you could step in. Where is the cat? Do we have the cat? Where is the cat? He's hiding in the back. Oh my god, he's, he's stuck again. Things. Uh, Fefe, can you get Fefe Runner down, please? Uh, uh, yeah, this is awkward now. Fefe, oh. Okay, Fefe, sorry, Fefe Runner is a cat, and cats, of course, cannot be judges because, come on, these cats do not control. Boy, Anything. I mean, who would have a cat as a leader of a guild that's riding, right? Mm. I can take the place. Yes, please. Uh, Fefe, if you could step in for Feferone. He's really disbehaving today. Mm. Alright, so Fefe will be our other judge. Uh, if you can just... Uh, introduce yourself, uh, say something cool for once, or funny. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to judge you. Good, that's your job. Alright, upload for Fefe. Thank you for being here. Obviously, can I put a safe pay as a contestant because I'm too fashionable for all of you. Of course. And so, to make, uh, uh, to prove that this fashion show and uh, small friendly contest is totally not rigged, I had uh, Lifflink as non-traveler judge. Lifflink, if you could say hi. Hello. Uh... I, I'm, I'm the tree. A lot of people haven't seen me, I guess, because nobody pays any attention on trees. So, and I'm not a scratch post. Just saying that we have a lot of uh, cats in the vicinity, so no scratching. Thank you very much. And last, but not least, a person. Uh, from neither Lion's Pride uh, Legion Guild or Traveler Guild. Uh, they stepped in themselves, um, asked me, and I welcomed them with my warm heart, however it sounds. I don't know if it's even something uh, proper speech. I would like to welcome uh, Fashion Death as our Third judge. Uh, Fashion Dev will uh, keep two uh, text messages, which is totally fine. Uh, and thank you for being here. All right. Now that we know our judges, mm, I'll step out and start and i would like the judges to stand somewhere that i definitely had planned for uh just on the corners i suppose i mean the judges will be uh, allowed to walk into the uh, circle to take a closer look to uh yes if you could put down some chairs for the judges that would be pretty awesome and if Pepperona, you're a spectator. Please stay to the benches like I asked, or I'll spray you with water. Alright. 
Uh, so fashion dev, if you could put down a few chairs, I believe it could take a bit of time. So you do that in the background. Uh, all right. And I suppose a quick description, last thing of the categories of the fashion show. <clears throat> Everybody, uh, every contestant will I think it would be fair to just volunteer who goes first and present themselves. You can uh, do it through any means. You can mm, do a scene, just keep it rather short. We don't have uh, all the time in the world. Uh, you can uh, use pets, mounts, uh, companions, uh, toys, and if they do not last permanently and stuff. Um, just present yourself in any way you want. You can tell a joke to a scene, tell a short story, mm, whatever. Uh, yes, you can cast abilities. Uh, I believe they will not harm anyone. If they do hurt Ogans, you will get additional points. And uh, the four categories. Who did this? Uh, yes, the question. If you have a question, please ask. Mm. Uh, good question. I've been asked. Uh, I've been asked about this few times already. Uh, I think uh, the most important is to find who, in the people's, uh, in the people eyes, is the best looking, the most fashionable, has the best style first. Uh, everybody will just. Uh, present themselves. You can do it on the mount, you can do it uh, with your gold tabard. You do not have to specify which category you want to uh, partake in. Uh, once everybody is uh, has presented themselves, the people will vote. Uh, votes will be done through... Mm, the easiest way is will be to whisper me the name of the player, the character name, who do you think, just who you want to cast your vote for? Uh, I will then count them and present the two places that got the most votes. Uh, then we'll do uh, the two special categories, the mounted fashion for a person uh, presenting themselves with a mount. Uh, preferably mount that just matches your uh, outfit, your style, your general vibe of the um, of your style, basically, and a stylish ambassador, ambassador of your guild. It's required to use a guild tabard uh, to match, make it match, or if it's a, of a different color uh, theme, or it's uh, just different and just exp describe what is uh, your guilt about, for example, and how it shows in your outfit. You can either do it on the voice chat or in game slash say chat. And the last will be the judge's choice. The judges will, uh, they can uh, speak between themselves, think, uh, decide who else deserves a recognition? Who else uh, brought the best out of their outfits? And once they're decided, they will cast their vote on the last person. And lastly, but not least, there will be a special surprise at the very end. But that's a su surprise, so we'll leave it for the end. Mm. Okay, if you have any questions, 
uh, just uh, whisper me or do a slash say. If I skip, just keep poking at me until I notice you. Well then, with everything said, I think we can start. So, contestants, participants, those who want to show off their style, who would like to step in first and show the world? Well, I think Babadu, so-called Ogans, wants to step in first. Go! Go in and show off your style, please. Everybody applaud for our first participant, Babadu. Very orcish. Mm -hmm. Although, yes, Robert, if you oh. could step in uh, in the circle uh, really quickly and let the judges uh, interact with you, you can uh, now speak any of you. What do you like about the outfit, or ask Babadu any question? Mm, uh, so getting the general stuff out of the way so what inspired you to make this outfit female orcs okay <laughs> totally acceptable is it a female orcs dress no nope. hmm Hmm. <laughs> yes, the, the, the twirling can can help. Uh... I think it's very well put together, and it's fairly unique. Oh, it's nothing extraordinary. It's you don't see people wearing this sort of. I mean, I've never actually seen a orc with good fashion yet. So you kind of blew it out of the perspective. So very well done. I can only agree with Fefe on that. If the judges have no further questions, uh, please say so. Uh, fashion death, lastly. Yes, the small details are very important. It's always nice to notice them, and especially when you did them on purpose. Very nice. Very well done. You like rose petals? I guess he's a he's a romantic. Yeah, it's for the ladies, for the orc ladies, just just the orc ladies. I hope one day they'll work. Thank you, Babadu. Thank you too. Uh, is there is there an actual orc lady here that could tell us whether? Oh please, they are Anyone. intrigued. Anyone? I've been searching for so long. Uh, I guess not. I think Mama Jing is a uh, female orc, maybe. I mean, is Mama Jing here? That's a no. Next time, Babadu. Definitely next time. I understand. Thank you. Uh, well... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's alright. Uh, who will be the next? Miss can go. Of course, if you want to go in, just take a step forward.
like from the trailer. <laughs> Which trailer? You didn't know the trailer. Damn. Nobody gave me the memo. <laughs> He's just a corrupted kitten. He deserves love too. He's very well taken care of. And I give him the medicine that he needs and he's okay. Looks to me like he needs healing. Or a, or a decurse, yeah. Ah, oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah, uh, everybody knows, especially you should, Fefa, that uh, you can heal and mend any cat with pats. Say that to my vet. Sure, send me their number. Okay, yeah, yeah, totally. I will do it uh, after no, the show. Uh, Pepper and I'm gathering pets. Yeah, uh, and They're accumulating. Shoo. Sure. Go back to your spot, shoo. Sure. Sure. I have a water gun. Okay, good. Well, the judges, do you have any questions? So you are a healing druid? I am a healing druid. I actually have sets for all the specs, though. Yeah, but the question still says, why not a tree? Why not a tree? I do have a tree form. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay. But I can't show off my mog in this form, so... That's that's a lie. I know that uh, through uh, deep experience. Because you only oh, need a that's... tree. You only need the tree. That's... Hmm. Oh, no. I think I need the... The light and then an illusion, right? And wh what are you trying to do? Oh, um, there's a way to go into tree form, but stay in your humanoid form by using an mm -hmm. illusion and then using a savory delight. Yeah, I believe it's the furball illusion. That is a very nice... Uh, mm, it's tip. any illusion. Because uh, I was thinking about doing a tree build, but I really don't like... I mean, the trees are cool, but uh, my outfits are simply cooler, so I don't want to... I understand. Uh, Hold on. Let me see if I can replicate it really quick for you while we're here. No, no, no. I did not almost insult Lifelink. I just almost m misspoke my intentions. So why isn't it working? <laughs> I believe you will be definitely allowed to uh, uh, show us Ooh, the uh, trick once you figure it out. And I think it's fixed. Wait one sec, I have to fix something, one sec. But anyway. No, it still works. <laughs> Ooh. Then I must be doing something weird. Yeah. Alright. Uh... Anyway, I very much like what I see. It's great. It's a little special. While looking very classic. I've seen you chosen a very minimalistic way, but hmm. yes, also that yeah, the the dried skin with the antlers, very well done. Hmm. What about the weapon? What was the choice of you choosing this stuff? The weapon matches. It's the only thing I haven't team up. Um, the colors match up with the rest of my outfit. So I didn't choose to change that. 
Unfortunately, if I had the nature staff from Emerald Sanctum, that would be my choice, but I have not seen it drop yet. <laughs> because that would definitely tie this look completely together. Mm, no violence on the benches, please. I think I saw that. No, please stop. I will send Fefarana to scratch here if you continue. Mm. Uh, Fefer 2 is on a vacation. It's called jail. <laughs> what? <laughs> what it? Okay. Alright, uh, thank you. Uh, how do you pronounce your name? Mizu. Mizu? Mizoa. Mizoa. Or a lot of people call me Miz. Miz, thank you. Mizua. Thanks, everybody. Uh, who's next? Willing to present? Yes, go ahead, Tarana. The white kitty. That's a long shaft. Oh boy. So far, we're getting very well put together sets that represent the class and even the race almost perfectly. Mm -hmm. It's like you could imagine these people running around Warcraft 3. Uh, I'm having a slight slight problem if it weren't or if it weren't that I know that Terran is a druid I would have thought he was a shaman like the the, the kind of the the headpiece and like the the kind of armor gives kind of shaman shaman vibe to me but uh, nonetheless the the colors and the animalistic head looks very good and the weapon bellissimo so, hmm. basically, a, I took, I, I took the. This was inspired by. Remember the elements set that's craftable. All through all four different pieces or five pieces that they look totally random and they don't look good together. So I took the flame raft leggings and then I looked through all over all over Azeroth to find pieces that would match the legs. Mm -hmm. uh, I think because this is my this is my cat DPS gear, so I chose the cat head. I will have to say that this is uh, really nice that you decided to look up for the uh, flame rough leggings matching set because I myself was on a path searching for them. And so far, I haven't found them all, which is really nice. And uh, in response to Leafling's doubts, uh, the wolf's head is also nice because it pays a tribute to the fallen beast helmet, wolf's head, and Gent Helm. Rest in peace, wolf's head helm. Exactly. Rest in peace. Yeah, and also like going from one armor piece and mix matching all the colors looks very good. I mean, I'm also very enthusiastic when it comes to red, so very well on that. 
And also I do have sometimes the thing of finding a good cloak matching to a mock. So yeah, very good. Awesome. Yes, actually now that you mention it, yes. Thank you, Tarana. It's a really nice outfit. Pays tribute and also gives tips to anybody else who would search for the flame rough matching legs outfit. I have a question for Tarana specifically. Sure. Have you tested the halberd of smite? Have I tested it? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Is it a Zulguru pull on? Yes, it is. Have you tested mm -hmm. it? If it procs? Oh, no, I actually did not. I just uh, equipped it and transmogged it and then vendored it. <laughs> so, that it's is... a bit of a shame. Next time. Next time. I also, I also got this uh, polearm, but sadly I lost the roll, so I had to trade it to the winner. So you didn't get it? I got the polar arm transmog, but I didn't oh, oh. Uh, have okay. I didn't have the chance to keep it, so I can test it. I would if I could. Uh, mm, fashion death, uh, do not listen, Taran. You can try to make a ticket saying that you accidentally vendored it, and maybe you will get it back. <laughs> okay, uh, and also, if we want to do it, Regary, if you can stop throwing the snowballs, that would be highly appreciated. And don't say you don't do it, because there are people with certain contacts who are documenting this event, so... You being... will be found. <laughs> I will send Feferona after you. You will get my SDKP. <laughs> All right, next person who would like to step in, just step forward. Do not be afraid. You will be judged. Ooh. We have Axel. Everybody with a mm, roleplay add-in could see that she seems nervous. Yeah, it looks nervous even without an Adam. Oh, Pfefferon. Oh my god, okay, never mind. I'll leave Pfefferon with Pfeffer. Mm. Alright, you judges. Axel is waiting to be judged. Hmm. Oh, okay, so there are the weapons. Okay, that would be... That would have been the next question, if you have according weapons, but it seems... You've gone... Oh. Okay. Hmm. Very much black, that's the game that's kind of... To be honest, I'm not a fan of the chess piece. It doesn't fit the rest. It's a little 
two brown. Just a minor nitpick. Rest of the outfit is fit if, fits fits well. If I may throw in a non-judgmental comment, I would like to point out the black mask, which is not that common among mask wearing rogues. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the whole outfit looks like also with the weapon over the shoulder, everything, it looks good, but the, the, the chest piece, it's kind of what, what bugs me, unfortunately. It's kind of, so you have all this like good fitting black equipment. I mean, now you can't help that. Is, is, hmm? <laughs> Hmm. The judges have, are having a tough um, choice. It's 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 tough, I must say. It's uh hmm. It is alright because uh, the fashion is not always easy. It can be complex, it can be simple, it can be twisty and bendy. It happens. Every style is different and that's why it's so beautiful to show it off. And it's really nice when you make it work. Some people are really, really good at it. Not to point out or anything, but uh, yes, yeah, some people are really good at it. Okay, uh, I, I don't want to steal the show. Yes, thank you. So, Don't the effort worry. was good. Don't worry, Axel. I believe we'll have time uh, for the third edition. One day, one month, one year, who knows uh, when you will have the time to level a next outfit. And we are having Shrek, who does not seem to be in our raid group. I take it there. A participant. Where is he going? I'm. Okay. I'm <laughs> not entirely sure, but it's still maybe it's just a surprise. It's their style uh, to ambush us with their looks and disappear. A very fleeting moment which is also very beautiful in itself. Thank you very much. The next person who would step in for a bit longer to and let us uh, look at them for a bit more time. Yes, bandage shirts, that's what I'm waiting for. A wolf. A dangerous wolf. Who let the fire see him? Hello? <laughs> Don't we have security at this place? No. Oh. Our security is Pfefferon. Hmm. Looks like a level 20 move to me. Harmless. Mm, Looks like something... I, uh... I believe we are having an SKP from Stormwind Stockades.
really sorry, Ramsha, but uh, you look exactly like the very hostile, the rioting, uh, and deadly bandit from the stockades. People are uh, have issues with um, killing hostile mobs. And judges, uh, an escapee from stockades is waiting for their trial of fashion. Hmm. It's basically perfect. I mean, yeah, you can basically sit, sit yourself in an instance and the group will most likely kill you. So I guess that's job well done. I... <laughs> Wait, do you also have a weapon for this? I mean... Or, like, have you any accessories? He has the weapon, the perfect. Exact weapon. <laughs> the torch and the, the nailed plank. Very good accent. It's a perfect representation, but is it fashionable? Uh... I do now have to say it I guess it will have we'll see, but for what it's for what it is, it's very good. But we will see how it will manage against all those others. So hmm. I'll take I'll, I'll take a note that's Everybody here is loved and welcome, no matter from what part of the world they come, what their criminal background is. We are all here for one goal and one goal in our minds, to appreciate fashion. Wait, there's Wolgrins? Who let the dogs in? <laughs> all right thank you ramsha i think that's all from our uh judges who will be next? Oh. Um, we saw that. Oh, this is the new know. update. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a rogue with Thunder Free. Sorry, I, I, I just had my eyes on Bigglesworth, so sorry. But uh, 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 we have an actual contestant. Oh, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Did somebody say Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker? Thunder Fury, the Blessed Blade of the Windseeker. Uh, what it is you want to say? Ooh. 
Nothing. I was going. I'm back on back around. Fafaran, I'm gonna spray you, I swear. This is a very well fit together mix colors also. It's not something you've seen quite often. Like a lot of that either like a very basic colors, like the reds, the blues, maybe some black, but like this what is it? Slightly purple-ish? Is it purple? I don't know. Or it I has color, a little but... bit of uh, purple, or at least very dark, bluish gray, I would say. Mm -hmm. I also yes, believe that this certain particular set, this uh, look, is not that easy to obtain. I may be mistaken, but I try to find it, get it. I haven't done it yet. To be honest, personally, I would have no idea what this is and where it comes from. But it certainly looks like a full set. Yeah, really. Yeah, it looks really like a alternative version of like a tier set. Yes, it's... With the exception so... of the uh, belt, uh, Fashion Death recognizes it as a Wild Heart belt, I believe. Mm -hmm. So it's not a full full set. Yeah, but still again, it, if you if you didn't really knew uh, that it would be the the wild heart, it's still would come over as a very well put together tier set. Well done. A really good job. Well, showing off some of the hardest to obtain weapons in the game. Even Bigglesworth. <laughs> yes, Bigglesworth is surprisingly difficult to obtain. Even though it shouldn't be. Who knows? That knows. Okay. Tell us Thank how you, many Dad. tries did it take to get Iron Food? I'm really glad you are here as well, Dev. Uh, please do not come for me in the night or anytime soon. And, or anybody else that is here. We're having another person that's not in the raid. I can come, I can come. Pick me, pick me. Please, go in. Go forward, step into I'm the ring. Step, in. the step into the light. Are you stepping in? Big boy. Hello, everybody. I'm Kezel. They call me the Avalanche. I come from a lost tribe in the northern mountains, far, far away. I came here to knowledge and friends, and I've seen many travelers around the world. Slash bar. Very solid performance. I must say, very soon. And I have to say, my special ability is Frost Shock. Is that why you have this uh, bunny with you? The bunny, it's uh, a symbol. Uh, it's a symbol of my tribe in the northern countries. You see, this is a special kind of rabbit that withstands great cold temperature with its very thick and very soft fur. How can you obtain such a rabbit? Oh, my friend. Many, many trips, many adventures. We'll have to sit at the table and have a beer. And I'll chit chat with you. I'm looking forward to that then. If you're well, going to pay for the beer. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I mean, Mr. Judge, kind of... I have to say also that I'm very disappointed because there's also a may, uh, I think it was a plate, the cold resistance plate alternative that looks way 
better with this Ekmog. But I cannot do anything and the uh, leather version what is mm, doesn't quite fit, you know what I'm saying? Even the shoulder is a bit because you can see the you have to understand that the glacier guys is always brighter to the top and darker as you go deep because the light doesn't pass through. Oh, okay, no. now I understand. Okay, now that you mention this, it actually. Oh. I don't have any cold mounts, but this is my fellow brown cold. <laughs> <laughs> Still, for the effort, I mean, we all can't have a hundred mounts. So, very good. Just like, just like Fashion and Death mentioned, it's a amazing job fitting the outfit together with that weapon. In the end, I tried to make justice I of the, to the weapon. I kind of did a transmog around the weapon. That was the whole point. And that's it. Thank you very much. Cheers to you. Thanks for coming. Very well. It, it looks very well. Ah, I'll move now out of the ring. It will take half an hour. Thank you very much. Takes half an hour, but takes two steps. My big boy. Mm, from uh, um, one second piece. Uh, we need a mailbox for uh, Cherry Bank. If anybody has a mailbox, please put it down in the corner right here. It's very important for me, please. No way. Shrek. Oh. Yes, thank you very much. We can proceed further. I saw Beast stepping in and I am lagging a little. <laughs> I said no violence on the fashion show grounds, please. I'm about to bust. <laughs> good. Oh my god. <laughs> what? I can sing for us. <laughs> oh wow. I can hear the Bee Gees. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Look at those legs. Look at that movie, man. Yes, totally. Totally. The fire cracking at the bottom makes it so much better. Well, I, I'm 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 lost for words. So, <laughs> stellar performance, I must say. How much did you pay these guys to dance for you? Did you pay in cash or substances or other services? That was the recreation of all the single ladies, all the single ladies. How can you ask this question when you can just look at the beast 
and know everything. It was definitely a performance. Well, the, do the judges have any questions for the beast? Any further questions? How do you get into this dress and out without like ripping it apart? You don't. He grew in it. I mean, also, like, uh, who, who designed this, this dress? Like, it looks very personal, fabricated, just for you. Oh, yeah. This is a special fit for you, made by Fashion Death. Is there anything else you want to add to, or to show us, or...? Ah, oh, okay. Ashen Death is throwing in a very important question, which so far is really expensive to answer, because we're lacking... completely blown away. We're lacking a barber. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a segue. If only a beast had a special toy or a pet that could allow him to change yeah. their hairstyle really quickly oh. on a spot. Maybe one day. Who knows? Okay, thank you. Beast, I believe uh, the judges have no further questions. It was uh, definitely uh, a show to witness. Uh, next time I will have to pay more cut time to Fefe to secure the backstages so we do not have a an expert guest, but so far it worked out very well for the participant. Nonetheless, we can move further into the next person. Is there any volunteer? Oh look, it's a monkey with a mini pet. <laughs> Please, no violence. Please, no decapitation. No violence on the grounds of the fashion show. Oh. 
Oh no, Lavender died. Anyways. But we never had that before, so... If only we had, true, if only we had a category for the best dressed corpse. Do we have any... Like one less participant to worry about. Uh, oh, never mind, he's back. Lavender getting some love. For one. So, so I was going for typical Scarlet Crusade vibes with uh, the full set, including Tabard. It's nothing special, but um, I think it fits uh, kind of human warrior a lot. And I was especially happy with the X from BWL. I managed to get to complete it. I think other weapons would work as well, but um, this somehow uh, rings with me. I must say, it definitely brings up and takes it on a whole nother level of your outfit, because your outfit looks very savage. And I am not sure why I'm saying this, because I am not a judge, but I'm a host, I can do what I want. <laughs> You're turning the voice to the judges? It's not the voice original, it's still pretty well done. And that axe, well, personally I don't like that axe, but however, it's a good fit and it kind of turns you into a higher ranking commander because of how ornate and stuff it is because it's as if that was a very expensive weapon that you are proud of yeah, yeah. totally I, I can I, I can just add myself to those comments of those two comments uh, very well. Very well. Good job. Okay, okay. We can move on now. We do not <laughs> need to see this. Uh, please uh, step out of the circle now. Okay, thank you. I thank you, Tiki. The, 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 the tiger was personal, but um... <laughs> no. No, it was not. Let's make a new category, best transmog with Zulian Tiger. Yes, the winner gets kicked out of their guild. And... <laughs> uh, who will be next? Do not worry, it will be not met with personal... judgmental comments. He left. General Keyleth. It's a knight, Keyleth. Can you not see? I'm gonna pretend that you actually understood the reference. Right from the get go, it's very well mixture of uh, cloth and plate pieces, and the glaive with the with the crusader chance also adds more. So there, there are a lot, of, a lot of small things that add to a very good, like grand outfit. It's. Oh, the small shield as well, so very well. That that's well man. Actually 
very that's very well put together. Oh, okay. I have to basically just agree. Well put together, really nice. And I'm a fan. This winter's veil, the nights were cold. Frost and fear had taken its toll. And while the horde and alliance slept unsound, a lonely paladin who craved warmth was found. Clearida's bad story. You're like a prince from uh what do they call it? From a fairy tale. No, you really look like you will you're on your way to rescue someone. You don't want to kiss the princess and wake her up. And live with her forever and ever. Happily after. Can you continue reading? Wait, who? <laughs> he farmed for weapons and he farmed for gear until he found a mog to leave a grin ear to ear. Complete now with the snowball dog. Gaze now upon this glorious mog that could leave a gentleman even of a trog. <laughs> Again, a, a very well put together performance. Um, well rounded outfit the, with the also the, the 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 wolf also has a good the, uh, has a good riding yeah. all in all very well it's very so it's uh, it's you mm, was there a like a idea behind the um the moon king uh, it kind of fits the colors a little bit. Okay, so it like wasn't like also. It just was a coincidence. Yeah, and he was hard to get, so gotta show him off. There are no coincidences with fashion. Even if something seems random, it means the style demanded it. Loveland's is also yes. Yes. Can you please can you build us a snowman? Well it has started snowing now. Mm, what a coincidence, right? <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, do you have, still have something to add maybe or uh no I have nothing else. Oh, okay. Thank you very much for your time. I like your dog. <laughs> Dogs over cats. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, what was the last sentence I could not process? What did I what? just hear? A blasphemy? Uh, Leafling's gonna remove it from the VOD, don't worry. Good. I hope so. I'm just bleep over it. Ah! 
I approve stealing weapons from warriors. Yes, I, I approve it as well. It's a blessing to steal from others. Especially warriors. No, 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 Shu, no, it's not your time to present. You had your time, Shu, go. Does it mean you never get surprised from the back? Yes, the, the jungle fighter really comes over with this uh, with this outfit. I would totally believe you that if you say you've spent a lot of time in Stranglethorn, then just seeing what you bring, it's very well thought of. And also the, the green weapon enchant. Which I guess a lot is like, uh, enchants bring just a really good but small detail to an outfit. So that looks very good. Thank you, Fefe, for bringing in the Calderay Huntress. I have to agree with Leifling. I gotta say, like, the X doesn't fit the OV, however, it looks very personal, and so it's like, uh, doesn't, you know, doesn't break it. It just makes it you. Right. Aren't you missing a pet? It's not very jungle themed. But it's a cat. It's a really nice cat. Everybody pet Tony. And, and ignore that I miss type <laughs> slash pet. <laughs> You're just telling us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, give. You cannot, and... you cannot pat from 10 meters away, you have to be close enough to pat it, it doesn't work. You can if you try really hard enough. No. Or if you have really long arms. Alright, the next person, do we have a nice volunteer? Amalis. I have. I am not sure, but I feel a little bit afraid right now. Is this a knight of warlock? Yes, so it really, oh, uh, so it really converts like a really like warlocky energy. Hmm. A host has a question. I am not a cat to look at this particular part, but. I am interested in what are those boots, those sandals, because surprisingly they are not the same sandals I'm used to seeing. Oh, oh, okay, now I see. Yes, it explains a lot why I did not see it, because somebody once stole them from me. I see everything now. Is there anything you think it's still want?
I wanted those sandals. <laughs> I don't like this idea of mm, turning it into a class fantasy of a different class that you were supposed to be. And I would like to point out that they're using, Amal is using gloves that are from a druid set. Yes, I wanted to say that. That may be a little bit of an irony. That those are Dungeon Zero gloves for druid matching this warlock look. And also your companion, like the spirit, uh, is also very well thought of. So, yeah. Oof. What is there left to say? It looks very good to me. Can we get Telly to do a last, or Sabas to do last minute uh, summon? Mm, Lavender be useful for once and go ahead and help Telly. Of course, you're too late, as usual. <laughs> you were you weren't late to steal that tiger, though. Would you look at this? Thank you for the summon, Telly. Everybody thanks at Telly. All right. Hmm. I am one hundred percent. Remembering to write mm. down every participant's name, and I definitely did not miss anyone. I think. I hope. I think he didn't write to you down on purpose. No, no, I am very. Just when it comes to pas uh, passion to fashion. All right. Do we have any other contender for fashion, or would it be all? If you just joined and you're wishing and you wish to. Uh, stand in the circle and show off your fashion. I believe they do not hear me anyways. Uh... No, you cannot. Mm. All right, I believe that this would be all of the participants. Then it's time to cast our votes if every participant could uh, stand in a small arch on the edge here you will have to cover our uh, judges but i don't think it would be it will be an issue is yes, this way i believe Every person will be able to see every 
participant uh, before they cast a vote. Mm. Let me see. We have Beast. We have Tarane. Uh, Jack Ramsha. The 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 dia dusk tree. We have a Tony. Uh, there's Castle in the back who said. Uh, he might be AFK from time to time, so please do not forget Kazel in the back when you will be uh, casting your votes. Mm, we have Kilev, mm, Dev, we have Laflons, Mm, sorry, mm, you have Hedwig from Laughlands. Oh, uh, where is Mr. Biggest Wolf? It's a, a, such a small, cute cat, I just didn't see him. Forgive me. We have also uh, Cottontail Rabbit in the back. We'll ha also having last second invites. I will post an invite link once more for those who did not chan. <laughs> we have Lavender. Who just died? Uh, you can leave him. Don't worry. That's uh, his thing. He does that. <laughs> true. We have Amalis. We have <clears throat> uh, we have mm, you dirty rat. You killed my brother. Ogunch, Babadu. <laughs> uh, we have Mizua. I hope I pronounced your name correctly this time. You did perfect. Oh my god. Cherry pie. What? Mm. What? <clears throat> what? Oh my god, the burning crusade oh. confirmed. No way! <clears throat> wait, I mean, <clears throat> I wait, cannot. What? I can't. Wait, no, no, never mind. Don't worry. No, there is uh, nobody stealing. Uh, uh, attention from our <coughs> mm, fashion show. Do not mind me at all. In the back, in a better form, hiding someone. Uh, no, it's just a bear. Do not pay attention at all. We cannot mm, have anybody steal our show. Thus, yes, I see. I see only a bear as well. Okay, beast. We saw your ass as well, so please don't. Mm. All right. I would like mm, now everyone uh, participants can uh, cast their votes as well. Uh, but you cannot vote for yourself. I mean, it would be a little bit cheaty. Uh, why? You will not. That's the point. Um, nonetheless, please whisper me your votes once. It will be really confusing. Whisper me the name of a person you want to vote for. Preferably their in-game uh, name. In the meantime... Uh, I will try to move a thi few things around. Mm -hmm. 
Oops. All right. While I will be uh, definitely not um, multiboxing or multitasking, I would like to announce that the winners will get a variety of rewards. If anyone wishes to contribute to the event by donating anything, gold, silver, copper, items, consumables, ultra rare mounts for the host uh, that are uh, very unique, you can do it by trading Cherry Bank in the back. Yeah, she's jumping right now, a little level 5 rogue. Last minute donations. I will be writing them down to not lose anything. Alright. Yes, I cannot buy uh, bars, uh, items, anything. It will be later distributed by uh, probably the judges. Oh my. I should have gotten... I mean, Chowbank is definitely another person. Mm, in the meantime, can we have uh, Fafara and the, the cat to uh, entertain mm, people? I don't think Fefe, everyone, is listening. It's nothing new. Feferon is such an orange cat. Look at... We have G's back. That's better Look. entertainment. Oh, wow. That's so cool, Feferon. Thank you. Kato? Oh, that's not a belly rub. <coughs> what? Never mind, it looks a little bit different. <coughs> yes, Loveless, nobody saw that. Alright. Um, time to log out and disappear from the game. Alright, if that's... Uh, all of the um, donations I will disappear and uh, Cherry Bank will return to uh, hand out rewards soon and now let me just take a look at the votes this will take a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. mm, the judges will vote mm, themselves. They will talk and decide among themselves for the last person who did not win yet any category uh, so their votes will be counted later mm. Lavender, we have agreed upon no, no deaths apart from his yes, <laughs> apart from his okay. but... mm. Thank you. 
Okay. Alright. I will give it one more look through to make sure everything is alright. Alright, we do have um, our two winners, um, or do we? <laughs> Alright, uh, this is a little bit unexpected. Uh, expected. I mean, it was kind of expected, but I did not prepare exactly for this. Okay. I am consulting with the powers above, even me. Oops. All right, uh, I will mm. that's one, two, three. Mm -hmm. All this right. event is sponsored by Traveler Guild. Join Traveler now! <laughs> we need healers, and, please! And Join Lion's the healing Pride, front! <laughs> Lion's Pride uh, Legion Guild as well. Join our roleplay events. There's always something to do, or something to get. Have fun together. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, we have a certain tie. And I will uh, call out three names and would like those three names to step in in the middle line up for another round of votes uh, so that would be Dev please step forward get in the middle that will be Laughlands 
And last but not least, Amalis. I know. This is why I'm also not competing because obviously I would have won. I will ask everyone except those three to cast their votes once again. Uh, decide. Uh, of course, vote for uh, um, for one of the three people in the middle. I will make space. And I am totally not standing in front of people again. Mm, only people, mm, the three people in the middle, please do not vote yet. Uh, I'll ask you if there will be another situation, another situation of a tie. We just keep going until there's no tie. True. Okay, it's weird because I'm seeing only Serasna, Serasna, Serasna's outfit is the best, Serasna, oh my god, I am not competing, guys, please stop. <laughs> He's gonna if... pocket all the reward money. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I believe we have a winner. All right. I will now announce uh, the two winners of the um, people's choice. And how to do it properly with, without messing this up <laughs> so the tie was for the second place i already got a winner of a who got the most votes in the first place this is why i wanted the second place to be untied to make it fair and the winner of people's choice with a second place is Lovelands. Everybody applaud Lovelands with his icy, snowy, alking, luring outfit. Even though Winter Vale has ended, the outfit is no longer obtainable until the very next opening of the win winter veil whale veil he managed to bring us bring it to us remind us of a yes a veil veil that's the zone winter veil veil mm, i will ask one of the judges to hand uh, the reward soon however does not mean that uh the last places go will have to leave without recognition mm -hmm. Los, are you gonna keep it on through June? Like when you forget Christmas lights on I can't afford fashion coins <laughs> mm, Right For the... It's gonna get help uh, My level second places that did not win against the snow a bucket of rose white roses with a chosen uh, additional harp that I think matches the beauty of your outfits please 
receive your rewards and walk with pride. Yes, it would be, however, the donation did not include that one. Thank you very much, applaud, and now... Mm, okay, I'll, I'll run. I will ask Leaflink to hand in the reward. Okay. I have no idea how to do this, it's a lot of items, I am totally not... A little bit uh, panicking. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay. I These people give you like linen cloth and. Yes, totally. <laughs> linen cloth, like I got uh, tons of boar ribs, and I mean uncooked boar ribs, so if you're leveling. Uh, cooking, you can do it. Mm, okay, I will do it like so. I believe this will be totally fair. I'm missing. Okay, like so. This will be fair. Okay. This, this. Oh boy. Oh yeah, oh boy. Ah, uh, well, one second. Oh, shoot. Oh, you have uh, probably those items in your inventory. Yeah, I need to write down stuff one second. Oh, wait, maybe not this. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, oh my god. I'm losing my mind. I have had another rewards. Okay. Okay. There's more. This. And. this is this all i think yes okay good uh, yep that should be good to go okay please hand in the reward mm. Laughlin, so if you could approach the judge Lifling. Mm -hmm. Very well done. You've heard Indeed. this. Indeed. Thank you, thank you. Definitely well deserved. Thank you, Laughlands. Thank you, Dev. And thank you, Amalis. You can uh, s go back to your places. And now, for the first uh, People's Choice winner. Definitely deserved, well recognized. And I hope we will be able to see it more. Especially in a little bit, a little spoiler of who's going to win it. In I really appreciate the tower and dancing in the background. It's it's bringing a nice vibe in traveler raids because the f uh, first people's choice was and is Kilev. Everybody applaud Kilev for the most amount of votes in the first run. It is, if I can say something, it's a really nice set. It's well done. It bring it, like you said, uh, uses a lot of different items, especially the custom ones. It's uh, definitely not a full set, especially with those gloves, which I believe are just, or even leveling uh, from your leveling up times. It's a really nice outfit, well deserved. And I believe the first person, uh, the first place of a people's choice deserves a recognition to receive a reward from 
our fashion death. I will do it now. This will be, I believe, this is fair, this, this. Mm -hmm. and let me just make sure that this is all. I believe so. Kilev, you may approach Fashion Death to receive re your reward. Oh, first. Very well done. Uh, mm. And in case there is any confusion, uh, Kilev won the first place of the People's Choice with the first votes and the second place was the three people that uh, received a second voting. We had to cast votes once again between those three people so we chose the second place. Mm, like so. So this is why uh, this was not the tie for the first place but for the second place and we've decided to proceed with the second voting to choose the second place winner um, next we can proceed let me just ask um, the judges who what do they think mm. I will ask in voice, I don't think it's a big issue. Do we proceed with a justice vo choice now? Or do we let the uh, uh, mounted fashion and the stylish ambassador categories to go first? So people vote for those people once again. Uh, if possible, yeah. If we could put those in front, we uh, are still um, working okay, on so some So you will some. decide after the four categories and the next two categories all right uh, then i would like um, every participant who would wish to partake in a second chance to win in a mounted fashion category to get a mount of your choosing that matches your outfit and line i believe here would be nice and the rest to just well step out uh, if anyone will wish to participate in the uh, stylish ambassador category for the guild uh, you can do so next as well yes mounted fashion round two for the second chance to win just in case okay if that's all the contestants uh, people can take a look decide and let me just <laughs> just in case whisper myself to uh, 
divide the votes in my whisper tab you can begin voting for the winner of mounted fashion category who do you think deserve the recognition here sorry is this uh contestants voting as well or is it just the judges uh, this is the participants. Par this is a mounted fashion, and the judges will vote after the two categories. So this is the judges do not vote yet. Uh, vote all the spectators and participants can vote for the mounted fashion, and every mounted fashion participant can also vote. Mm -hmm. Let me just. Make sure. Check the votes. Okay. Okay. All right, we do have a winner. I will say that I must agree with this choice. If I had to cast a vote, I would definitely consider the winner because the winner of the mounted fashion category who received the recognition from the people and other participants is Mizua. You can step forward and show off the style of your mounted fashion with the swift Razashi Raptor, your naturalist uh, Calderay outfit with the druid antlers. You can see the ferocity and uh, savagery that matches of your outfit and your mount and also you have the corrupted kitten that you so, so lovely take care of it is always appreciate, appreciated and I believe I did not <laughs> mm. All right, you will receive your reward from the judge Fifi, mm. who will receive a uh, also Fifi uh, the the silliest, the most silly of all judges. Mm -hmm.
right. And this is, I believe, it. All right. You may hide hand in the reward the winner, Mizua. Congratulations once again. Congratulations, Ms. Will. Thank you, everybody. I also believe... Um, that... Uh, Laughlin's <laughs> participated even though I may have forgotten to say that a winner of one category cannot win a second category. However, this would not change the votes at all, even if all the votes went to the other person. Mizua won by a major uh, advantage. Che? You have a plus one. You have a, you, yes, you have a... <laughs> yes, Mizua won with a uh, grand total big number of votes, I mean. Is that how many you count? I can count only to five, so it's a small issue. Just kidding. All right, then the next category will be the stylish ambassador. Once again, I will remind the rules uh, to take care. Thank you, Lavender. Despite my harsh words towards your person, it's really nice to see you. Oh my god, don't, please. no, no, you will be kicked, you will be kicked, no. No, 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 you cannot. Somebody do something. Oh my god, no, it's a multi-faction, you cannot PvP with uh, faction. No, where is uninvite? I cannot, oh, because he's not invited, oh, he is. He's not flagged. Okay. Too bad. Anyways, the stylish ambassador. To mm. enter and participate and be eligible for the votes, you need to wear with the outfit you took part in the event so far, uh, wear your gold tabard. If you do not have a gold tabard, then it's a bit sad. Too bad. But do we have anyone that is eligible for this category? I hope so. And anyone who did not win so far? Laughlin, you won the People's Choice second place. We have Dev. Very well. Does anybody else want to step in, or can even step in? Well, I believe, well, no. You brought the outfit, you are wearing the guilt about, and I can definitely see uh, the representation here, especially uh, because your outfit does look like something that would match Lion's Pride Legion vibe. It's a band of, not even a band, but a group of neutral uh, mercenaries that travel whole, whole Azeroth mm, doing missions for gold, of course, or other uh, payments. Uh, 
Are you wearing a guild tabard right now, Amalis? I cannot see, sadly, that's the issue. But I cannot see the tabard. I don't know. I have to see it with an Alt Z hidden HUED uh, UI, so. I believe that even though we have only one participant in this category, it still uh, deserves recognition because it does match, it represents, and with the guild tabard, it does look good. Hello. Hello. And I believe that Dev. Uh, yes, Sarah Resna says only one. Because for the rules to apply, you have to be wear a visible, visible tabard. Well then, this means that. I mean, the judges uh, want me to cast votes so people can vote for the one and only participant. Uh, it says when I say it, visible. And I mean, Sarasna says, and what Sarasna says is the most fashionable, so. Well, I will just then announce the winner of the stylish ambassador category representing Lion's Pride Legion Guild. Winner is Death also known as Maren Ebenhusk, for those who do not have the role-playing Aden. Congratulations! It, despite being the only one, it's still a very nice outfit, and I can see it winning amongst others that would step in. It's a well-deserved, and Dev did participate with the Guild Tabard in the previous category, so I believe it just fair and deserved. I will uh, choose the... Uh, or I believe maybe... No, I will have the judge uh, hand in the reward and it will be Leafling. So definitely well thought out choice from me. This reward will be a little bit special. This, this, I believe this is fair. Alright. Yes, if you could, Dev, if you could step forward to Leaflink, or maybe even Leaflink will step forward. Congratulations. Very well. Thank you, Dev, once again for participating and showing off your hard work for outfit. And she's gone. All right. And lastly, the final uh, category. I believe that... Uh, our judges have come to some decision. They can uh, cast their last votes amongst themselves. Uh, mm, I would like uh, every every participant to step forward and line up here. Or, yes, like this, at a slight angle for the judges to see. Those win, those participants who did not win yet. I will represent fair and square 
uh, the exact copy copy of Lavender's outfit like this. Okay, I am Lavender. Seems about right. Where's your axe? Uh, uh, it's somewhere. Definitely. I mean, wait, how can I? It's a good question. I don't know how. Uh. <laughs> Shush. Do I have it's it? Not long. Okay, I will do it like so. Alright, we are also need maybe need one placeholder for Terry. If like anyone? Okay. Well <laughs> <I'll bet>, yes. <laughs> yes, and I've heard from a judge that there is a uh, possibility of um, presenting the winner. I think I'm losing my voice now. I need to drink a non-alcoholic beverage. Well, good thing that uh, you don't have to uh, yes. present the winner. So, um, come to base of it. Uh, it. All of you made uh, a good contribution to this event but unfortunately we only can have one uh, and maybe to make bring a bit more attention to it I will maybe eliminate one by one and have the last two have a little standoff so we'll begin with the first to go out is Terrane, wonderfully placeholded by Pfefferone. You didn't make it, unfortunately. I know, it's it's very hard, I know. You, you, you can get a pet. Uh, another one who, unfortunately, didn't make it. Was Ramshaw. <laughs> oh well cost. that's uh okay well he's gone so that's for for this then yes definitely um also another one and i think he's the winner of the hearts of all and like um, the 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 Romanticist around here, and he has like a very, very big thing. But unfortunately, he didn't make it. So, I'm sorry, Beast. Your performance was immaculate, but uh, you didn't make the cut. But I guess uh, if you ever get, want to host uh, maybe a performance in Stormwind or any other major city, I guess nobody would say anything against it. <laughs> Yesterday in the fountain. Well, how about a world tour then? I guess uh, we probably can get together. So. Uh, we also have to think that Castle is down here, right? So we still have five people in the run. So oh, we have, oh, the, the Backstreet Boys are also coming. Another one who didn't make it was... He, he had a very, very interesting, I'd say, thing. But in Cherry's words, fashion is sometimes uh, very random and doesn't make maybe to one, doesn't really say anything. So 
unfortunately, cherry, or uh, as I would say, call, uh, lavender. I mean, sorry, lavender. You you didn't really, didn't make it. Yes, it's very great. I know. I'm sorry. Maybe you should have bribed more. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't kill anyone. We are all unf unfriendly now, and no, <laughs> nobody wants to go into this reputation. Please. <laughs> okay, four to go. <laughs> but only can one. Oh, well, that just happened. Please don't make any. Uh, Please avert your eyes from this corpse. So, asked for, and uh, the next one to go out, unfortunately, is you, Mosquito Twins. I'm sorry. I know, I know, I, 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 I can't really... It's nothing that I have nothing against gnomes, I just want to stay there. We have nothing against gnomes. <laughs> That's the reason why Gnomeran still exists. Who said that? <laughs> hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to this. <laughs> okay, top three. And with a hurting heart, I read uh, the next one that got to go is the deer? I'm sorry, is it this is the real? Oh, yeah, I, I, I have this effect on people. I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm really sorry. And we have the last two. Amalis and... Uh, this one. <laughs> the castle. He's still AFK. He's still there, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, so um, I wish we could make like a drum roll or something, but I guess, uh, wait, can we, wait, we can, wait, one sec, is it, yes, no, that's the wrong one, sad, shit, thank you Discord, for nothing, okay, so Resna is once again a wonderful placeholder, and the winner of the judges voting for Ceresna's Passion show second installment will be Castle from the Guild Travel. Hey, um, yeah, if, yeah. So he can't really flourish in that. We need him to be here so he can shout and be excited. Yeah, really, really. But um, it was a it was a tough decision. Uh, so we came to the one to uh, wait. I need to check one thing first. <laughs> Cherry, no. <laughs> hmm. That will be ultra rigged. Yes. <laughs> uh. mm. So, yeah, one thing. Have to figure stuff out. <laughs> oh, yes, we can do maybe something like. This. Oh, wait, wait, because I remember getting something really special. <laughs> yes, this oh, was okay, part no of the donation. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait a sec, that's... Uh, um... All right, I will hold on to it, so Kessel will arrive.
Um, yeah, but Amalas still, uh, you made a great job. And um, the, although you didn't make it to the first place, the, the you still made a wonderful job. Maybe next time, or maybe next year, depending on Seresna's next iteration. So thank you all for coming, uh, and thank you, Seresna, for uh, forming this event. And I wish you all a safe flight back to whatever place you come from, or whatever questing zone you have, and uh, good loot for everyone. But wait, oh, wait there is one more. There's one more. One surprise category. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, somebody. I think I can already guess what it is. This category is called The Best Cut. And this time, everyone who is cut related, who can do something that cat does mm, they have cat in their name they their theme is about cats may participate <clears throat> anyone who wishes and i believe this will not be a very difficult voting yes uh, this time the host Sarasna is participating and I believe we should have one of the judges that are not v uh, they, uh, no, participating take their voice, take their the votes. So we have <clears throat> mm -hmm. You can, uh, <laughs> Rafi, you can wait. There will be another reward later. Reward, re another surprise category later. We have Mizua with a midnight a pet. Oh, with a sorry with a midnight companion. We have Amalis in a cat form. We have Tony. Hunter's pet, companion, friend. We have Fifi, the orange cat, the silly cat, the most orange of them all. We have Beast, a true beast of traveler. And of course, we have me, Cherashnia, Ceresna, Cherry, Seri. I go by many names, but one of them is the most fashionable and best cat. I would like one of the uh, two judges that are not participating, it's Leafling and Fashion Dev, to step in and say who will be taking votes. Fashion Dev it is. All participants can uh, ter take their votes and once again they cannot vote from their, their selves. I believe we can start with sparing our votes.
I believe, yes, our people are supposed.
Make him an orange cat. Heard him? He w I'm Sarasna's cat translator and Fifi said I'm an orange cat. No, 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 no. Make him orange. Orange. Make him orange. No, no, no. Again. I need to... Come on, come on. Orange. Yes, he's an orange cat. The most orange of them all. Happy? Got him. Right. But last but not least, the judges cannot go without uh, being rewarded for their time, their knowledge and sacrifice of having no possibility to compete. And that's why I would like to hand them in maybe a little bit humble reward, not as rich as the others, but just as they did, it's the symbol and the action that matters. A bouquet of white roses. Even for Fefe, the most silly of all judges. Thank you. Oh no, I cannot check them on... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no, there are shirts, but... And they're buying on pickup! Oh no, that's four spots in my already occupied bank! No! Yes, I have that problem on two characters now. This four oh, does I those yesterday. gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about the money. It's about the bank space. Oh no. <laughs> I feel that. Oh no. <laughs> Just make more alt characters. And but then I have to buy even more bandages for just for those characters. However, well, what is the point of making t-shirts transmogable? What is the point? You can wear just one shirt and just mug it to whatever you want without having to keep them. I still have the anniversary shirt, even though, I mean... Mm, true, but you still, if you want to change, you have to spend the fashion coin every time. I prefer changing, making, spending one fashion coin on one shirt than having 10,000 slots occupied with bandages oh no but i have to okay i know what i want what's up folks how's it going castle not Look who's back. 
Uh, so, uh, Kessel, um, can so you ask absence... You weren't here, so... Uh, in your absence, uh, you actually uh, came out on top. <laughs> really? That's fucking marvelous. Sorry, folks. Uh, if we figured out the situation, I will hand you really your handsome reward, which I've been notified has been going out of uh, donations. <laughs> so. Oh yes. Awesome. Uh, Why, what have I won? If I can ask. I mean, what? Uh, you he... have won the judge's vote. So. It's... Oh really? Yes. Okay. I will hand in the rewards, and I believe this will be fair. Uh, can you hand it later? Uh, I, oh, do you, oh, so is it... Yes. Wait, is it okay. this plus the other one or what? Oh, wait, or did I give you already? I, you gave me the... the you gave me something. Ooh. Ooh. What does a GM do with gold? <laughs> uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Everything. You have like drama similar, or do you have all the consumables? I have a lot of donations. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm rich. Um, do I have to stand in the line? Or do I wait? Just no, no, in the line no. to buy uh, bandage items. Bandages. Man, I got healing wave, man. 2.7.4 second cast. What, what, what are you talking about? It's shirts. It's shirts. Oh. Fresh bandages. <clears throat> Let me take off my chest. Don't look, guys. Ah. Damn, look at those bandages. Uh, hey. Wait, what? Uh, gloves? Uh, uh, come on, come on, uh, stay wait, alive. One, one sec, I have to... Up. But the GM is charging 20 gold. 20 gold? Jesus! <laughs> By the way, I am I have a reputation discount. Does it work? Reputation <laughs> discount. <laughs> the GM, exalted with GM. And rank 3 discount. There was a shirt, right? If I didn't switch up anything, right? That's a bandage, just in different kind of states. Yes. Worryingly bloodied. Worryingly bloodied. So, I need now it's cut out. Ist mir doch egal. <lacht> Geh mal weg. Du, 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 du atmest mir deinen Nachen, Nacken hier. Yes. <lacht> Guys, this is worse than my post office. Like, what is this like? <lacht> I'm joking. I'm a lonely raider. <lacht> Open another cache. <laughs> mm, okay.
Very bank. Three gold. Forty gold. Ooh, baby. Mm -hmm. Is this my prize? Yes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yes. Look at those mongoose, baby. I'm gonna drink those tonight. Thank you very, very much. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you very much, guys. The giant growth elixir really paid off. It really worth worth. Threatened, right? Can you hear me, Afghanish? I got some juicy elixir of mongoose, a 16 slot bag, and 40 gold, baby. Yo, I might. I might put a bag into the pot for next time and the gold as well. What do you mean? <coughs> More money. All right. So people are slowly leaving. The event is coming in into a close. Uh, thank you all for joining, uh, participating, uh, even though my voice is slowly fading away, it's been really nice. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for putting it on, that's great. Hopefully we get more fashion developed items to uh, bring our outfits into a whole new level next time. And Mr. Teresna, I have a question. Yes. If there will be a third run, can I run with the same chance more or do I have to change? Uh, it's preferred to change because, you know, uh, people or will... Or upgrade? Or upgrade. Mm, yes, if it's a major upgrade or something then just... Let's say it takes your outfit.